Science 5 Quarter 3 Week 3 Milk Base Let's learn about How light interacts with different materials Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Prell Don't forget to subscribe Like And share and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. Welcome back kids! For today's lesson in Science 5, we will discuss about how light interacts with different materials. Our most essential learning competencies is Relate the ability of the materials to block, absorb, or transmit light to its use. In the previous lesson, you have learned that conductors are materials that allow heat and electricity to pass through easily, while insulators are materials that do not allow heat and electricity to pass through them. This time, you will learn how light interacts with different materials. Have you seen an artwork on a stained glass? Stained glass are seen in churches, art museums, and even in some houses. The design on stained glasses are achieved through the use of glasses with various colors and hues, making them a sight to behold. The light that is visible to the human eye is called visible light. It is the small part of the electromagnetic spectrum which affects our vision. Light is propagated in space as electromagnetic waves. This is known as electromagnetic wave theory of light. The primary source of visible light is the sun. The visible light allows us to see the color that is not absorbed by the objects. For example, you see most plants as green because the leaves absorb all colors of the visible light except for green. To understand light further, you have to learn how it interacts with different objects. This branch of science is called optics. Optics is the study of refraction, reflection, absorption, and transmission of light. What is refraction? Refraction It refers to the bending of light as it passes through different materials. For example, the pencil in the glass of water appears bent because of the different parts of the materials that interact with light. The part of the pencil that is not deep in water interacts with the water. Light moves faster in air than in water. When light travels from air to water, its speed decreases. A medium is optically dense if it slows down the speed of light. This is why the pencil looks bent. What is reflection? Reflection It refers to the bouncing back of light when it hits an object. Some objects with flat surfaces, like mirrors, reflect light in a straight, predictable way. Some objects with uneven surfaces, like rocks, reflect light in a scattered way. What is absorption? Absorption it refers to materials taking in light but not reflecting it back. For example, when light strikes a black surface, it is absorbed by the surface and nothing is reflected. And what is transmission? Transmission. It refers to the passing of light through some materials. For example, when light passes through a glass window, it is transmitted to the other side, allowing the light to pass through the window. Different materials have different ways of transmitting light. 
First is what we call transparent materials. Allow all lights to pass through them. Clear plastic and glass windows are examples of transparent objects. Another one is translucent materials. Allow some light to pass through them. Stained glasses and frosted windows are examples of translucent objects. And the last one is opaque materials. Do not allow light to pass through them. Concrete walls, wooden doors, and mirrors are example of opaque objects. The activity that you are going to perform will clearly describe how light interacts with different materials. And now, let us proceed to our learning task. Learning task 1. Prepare the materials listed below. If not available, you may use other materials at home to perform the activity. You may ask the help of your parents or guardians or any adult members of the family if needed. The title of our activity is Refraction of Light. The materials are a glasses of water, three-fourth full, white bond paper, sunlight, crayons, and pencil. Here are the procedure. First, bring the glass of water and paper to a part of the room with enough sunlight. Near a window is good. Second, hold the glass of water above the paper and watch as sunlight passes through it, refracts bends, and forms a rainbow of colors on your sheet of paper. Third, try holding the glass of water at different heights and angles to see if it has a different effect. And fourth, draw and color your observations. And now, you are going to answer the following question. For question number one, what do you see on the paper when the glass of water was exposed to sunlight? Correct! When the glass of water is exposed to sunlight, it refracts or bend and you see a rainbow colors on the paper. Second question, what do you think caused the sunlight to refract or bend? Correct! Because the sunlight passes through a glass of water, so it causes the sunlight refracts or bend. Third question, what was the effect when the glass was held at different heights and angles? What does this show? Correct! The size and position of the spectrum on the paper may change. And for the last question, what may happen when light passes through a glass of water? Correct! You will see a rainbow colors. And now let's proceed to learning task 2. Put a check mark on the column that describes whether the material can transmit, absorb, or block light. So in the first column, we have the different materials. Second column, we have transmit light. Third column, absorb light. And fourth column, block light. So for number one, the material is sunglasses. Sunglasses is block light. Number two, cellophane. Cellophane is transmit light. Number three, rubber tire. Rubber tire is absorb light. Number four, black shirt. Black shirt is absorb light. Number five, woods. Woods are block light. Number six, vase. Vase is transmit light. Number seven, dark cartolina. Dark cartolina is block light. Number eight, red shirt. Red shirt is Absorb light. Number nine, plastic cup. Plastic cup is transmit light. And number ten, mirror. Mirror is transmit light. For learning task three, 
use a Venn diagram to compare and contrast the following. For letter A, reflection and refraction. Reflection. Bouncing back of light when it hits an object. Refraction. Bending of light as it passes through different materials. Both behaviors of light that strikes in different materials. Letter B, absorption and transmission. For absorption, materials taking in light but not reflecting it back. Transmission, passing light through some materials. And they do not allow light to pass through them. Let's move to learning task 4. Draw an illustration of opaque, translucent, and transparent materials inside the column. Consider the rubric below in doing the task. So, you are going to draw the materials inside the box and read the rubric. For learning task 5, matching type. Match the definition in column A with the concept in column B. Write the letter of your answer on the space provided before each number. Column A and Column B For number 1, Primary Source of Light Choose the correct answer in Column B. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is Letter A Sun Number 2 the light that is seen by the human eye. What is this? Very good! The correct answer is letter E, visible light. Number 3. The bending of light as it passes through a different material. What it is? Very good! The correct answer is letter B, refraction. Number 4. The bouncing back of light when it hits an object. What it is? Very good! The correct answer is letter C, reflection. And number 5, objects that do not allow light to pass through them. What it is? Very good! The correct answer is letter D, opaque. For our assimilation, optics is the study of refraction, reflection, absorption, and transmission of light. Under the optics are, first, refraction, refers to the bending of light. Next, reflection, refers to the bouncing back of light. Third, absorption, refers to a material staking in of light. And fourth, Transmission refers to the passing of light. And now for the assessment, read each item carefully. Choose the letter of the answer. Number 1. A piece of coal appears black when viewed in sunlight because it blank all the light that falls on it. A. Absorbs B. Reflects C. Disperses D. Transmits what is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter A, absorbs. Number 2, a red rose appears red because of its ability to blank. A, absorb the red color and reflect all others. B, reflect the red color and absorb all others. C, transmit all colors except red. D. Transmit the red color and reflect all others. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter A. Absorb the red color and reflect all others. Number 3. What do you call the bending of light as it passes through different materials? A. Diffraction B. Reflection C. Dispersion D. Refraction. What is the correct answer? Very good. The correct answer is letter D. Refraction. Number 4. What do you call the bouncing back of light? A. Transmission. 
B. Reflection C. Dispersion D. Refraction What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter B, Reflection. And number 5, why do people enjoy the shade of the tree during summer? A. It absorbs light. B. It blocks light. C. It reflects light. D. It transmits light. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter B. It blocks light. Remember, refraction, it refers to the bending of light as it passes through different materials. For example, the pencil in the glass of water appears bent because of the different parts of the materials that interact with light. Reflection, it refers to the bouncing back of light when it hits an object. Some objects with flat surfaces like mirrors reflect light in a straight, predictable way. Some objects with uneven surfaces like rocks reflect light in a scattered way. Absorption It refers to materials taking in light but not reflecting it back. For example, when light strikes a black surface, it is absorbed by the surface and nothing is reflected. And transmission, it refers to the passing of light through some materials. For example, when light passes through a glass window, it is transmitted to the other side, allowing the light to pass through the window. So kids, do you understand our lesson today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!